This video tutorial will focus on two skills, the skill of sum if and count if, and it will hopefully help you identify when you have to use each skill. Now first of all, we have two tables, a long list of names and a list of values. Here we have a more condensed table with names, number of orders and total values. So by looking at this, we can work out we have to know how many orders each person has placed and we also have to know the total value of each order. So, first of all, we use the skill of count if. So you click on the FX button. Now, if count if doesn't appear right away on your list, just delete what's here, key in count if, and push OK. Or go, sorry, and it'll, it'll find it for you. Now, the range. The range is where you want to search for your information. So. Where we want to look for our names is A3 down to A20. And make sure you absolute cell reference these variables, A3 to A20. And the criteria is the name we're looking for. We're looking for Anderson. So we click on that and we go to A3. And you do not absolute cell reference the criteria. Leave that free. The only thing you absolute cell reference in this case would be the range. Push OK. And then because we didn't absolute cell reference our range, we can copy it on down. And we can see from our results here, we have got the correct answers. Now, it is a very simple spreadsheet. You could just look and see how many entries each person has. But imagine it had 100, 100 entries, 1,000 entries. You can see how the formula is clearly the correct, the correct way to complete this kind of a task. And also... Yes, doing it without your formula is a lot more straightforward, but there's no marks if you don't use your formula. Now, total. We want to now work out the total value of the three orders that this person has made. So what we do is go to FX and click on sum if. Again, as before, if sum if isn't on your list, delete the text here, type in sum if and push go, and it'll find the formula for you. Now, in our formula builder, you've got three lines for three different entries. I like to start this in the middle with our criteria. The reason being, the criteria helps you identify what you're looking for. We're looking for every entry of Anderson. And as you know, all the names are in first row, column A. So that's where you want to look for Anderson. Now, as before, you absolute cell reference. A3 and A20. Now the sum range. The sum range is where the values are. That's where the numbers are. That's where things are that you can add up. In this case, it's quite clear that it's all in column B. Again, just absolute cell reference both of the variables. This might be a bit, a bit confusing, but just to try and explain what we have here. We're asking the formula to look for, from this table, every entry of Anderson, and then find how much each order was, and then add them together. So we push OK, copy it down, and we have our answers. So that was sum if and count if. Again, just to be consistent, we can see that there is formula here, sorry, not formula, formatted for currency, with two decimal places. So again, up to the top, currency, just increase the width of the column, and we are already formatted for two decimal places. So that was sum if and count if. Remember, sum if and you want to find the total value of something, count if and you want to find how many of something that there actually is.